Hey guys, alright, wow, two videos in one day. Uh, this is a record for me, just about. Um, I wanted to jump on real quick and address that uh, subject that I had had told you guys about earlier um, that I wanted to come in and talk to Amber a few minutes about a video that you had posted last week and um, you know it was when you were just having a bad day and everything was just getting under your skin and you were like losing it as it were just know number one I commend you for that um, your honesty, especially the, the scene that you left in that you did not edit out where you had came out and was smelling, um, I guess your mom had started a fire in the fireplace so that kind of set you off a bit when you'd walked out of your room from upstairs. Um, I totally know where you're coming from and a lot of people don't. And um, it's hard. You know, it's hard on us. It's hard on the people who don't understand. And I think what's, what makes it worse for us that have to deal with uh, or suffer with bipolar, I hate that word, suffer with bipolar, do have to deal with, bi with bipolar or any other mental illness where it's quick for us to lose our temper, um, is people not understanding. That is the hard part. Because we can lose our temper, we can think about it later, we can apologize, and... Um, it's, they just don't get it. You know, some people just do not get it. And it's hard. And it's hard for them as well. But um, I think what makes it a little easier for us is when somebody does say, okay, I'm trying to understand, I'm trying to, you know, learn about it or whatever, which is very, very key. Um, and a lot of people don't even want to bother learning about it. They don't want to read up on it. They don't want to know what we're going through because they're not going through it. They just look at us as if we are sent down from some other planet and, I mean, well, to me, that's what it feels like. But um, we, we can't expect people to understand something they don't know. Uh, it, you just can't, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's kind of like the whole, you know, ride at an amusement park type, park type thing. Um, I've ridden roller coasters, I know what it's like, I know what it's about. Somebody who hasn't, that is afraid to do it, um, they have no clue, they don't know what to expect, they don't know how to react. Um, I know it's a piss poor example, but it's the only one I can come up with right the top of my head. But, um, because I'm totally coming off the cuff with all this. But, no, just, just remember that it is hard on them as it is on us not as hard because you know they just don't understand and they can just turn or you know walk off but with us it's like okay this bitch just turned around and walked off and they don't even get shit you know but um but it's hard it really is hard and for those of you who don't know what i'm talking about is a lot of us with bipolar have a tendency to have very bad and rapid mood swings um we can be fine one minute and be ready to kill the next minute. And you can't compare it, because I know somebody will try to compare it to, well, you know, when I get mad at somebody, that's a mood swing, and no, it's not. Um, I'm talking in a matter of a second, if that. <laughs> not even a second. You know, I, for example, I can walk out of here, be in a, the best of moods, see something on the floor, which means nothing, um, and rather than pick it up and throw it away myself, I might just start going off and yelling and screaming and just the whole nine yards. Um, afterwards, when I feel, after I've thought about it and it's like, oh, shit, I shouldn't have done that, you know, I'll apologize or whatever. But um, at the time, you know, it's, it's it, I can't help it. It's just, it just comes out and it has to be released. Um, a minute after that, I may be in a great mood again, or I may be crying, or I may be, you know, we, want, we, can't, we don't know. You know, I've talked about rapid cycling before, <coughs> and that's hard. Rapid cycling is very hard. 
Um, that's where you can be happy one second, mad the next, sad the next. But it's a continuous cycle. It's not like we have um, something happen and we, we lose our cool, we're over it in a few minutes or an hour or whatever. Rapid cycling is something where you're going through all your emotions for an extended period of time. I have known people who has had gone through it for weeks at a time and it even happens in their sleep. Um, you go from sad, happy, angry, you know, over and over and over and over. And normally with me, rather, it will last anywhere from a half hour to an hour. I'll be perfectly fine in a pretty good mood. And then the next thing you know, it'll just transition over into another emotion. And it also does it in your sleep, or at least for me, it does it in my sleep. So if I happen to be in a good mood and fall asleep, if it changes in my sleep, it wakes me up. So therefore, there's really no good sleep. And it's very exhausting. But um, you tell people who don't experience that, they have no clue what you're talking about. So I just went way out on the left field on this. But anyway, no, but Amber, seriously, like I said before, I'm very proud of you for that, for coming out. And especially leaving that one part in the video, that was very, very brave of you. Um, yeah, that, I was very proud to see that. And just know you're not by yourself, and which I think you already know that. And as far as people not understanding, they either are or they're not, or at least some of them will try. And I commend the ones that actually give it a shot, you know, they go online, they read about it, they try to learn about it, or at least ask us about it, you know. I mean, I have no problem with somebody coming to me and saying, okay, you know what, I don't understand this, can you explain it to me? And I will try to explain it to the best of my ability. And what I can't explain, you know, I will just, you know, say, look it up or go get a book on it or whatever, that it can, you know, something that can explain it better than I can. But, um, but yeah, yeah, you're not alone, hon. So, all right, I have rattled on enough. I'm getting hoarse. Um, I will talk to you guys later, and, uh, you're fine, Amber. Don't worry about it. So, all right, guys, I will talk to you later because my throat is killing me. Love y'all. Bye.